Warning, all of our videos are made only for educational purposes and to demonstrate scientific laws that we verify. These experiments must be supervised and we are not responsible for an incorrect execution of an experiment done by others. We do not encourage in any way that you misuse our experiments to do violent things and harm others. Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemist Balesi. Today we will see how to make soap. So in this experiment we are going to use some very common substances uh, like uh, sodium hydroxide uh, and also some vegetable oil, precisely olive oil and uh, coconut oil. So let's see the experiment. So guys, soap is made up of two parts, a polar head and a hydrophobic tail. When it acts with uh, grease or oil, it's, it's created a structure called micelle, and in particular uh, the, the hydrophobic part is an internal one, whereas the polar is in the external in contact with water, and also our polar uh, heads are ionic charged and they tend to repel each other. In this way, micelle can mix with both oil that is an internal part and water, and they can be washed away. Also, there are many types of soaps. In fact, when we use potassium hydroxide instead of sodium hydroxide, since uh, potassium ion is bigger than the, uh, sodium one, uh, their interactions are uh, less uh, strong, and that's why we get a liquid soap. Whereas, whereas when we use uh, sodium hydroxide, our soap would, would be uh, uh, in a solid form and also when we use uh, different kinds of oil and it depends uh, on the um, hydrophobic uh, chain we can get different types of uh, soaps. So uh, the procedure for the experiment uh, consists in firstly uh, pouring uh, 250 grams of olive oil then we're going uh, to pour another beaker 150 grams of uh, coconut oil. It is solid, so before mixing the two oils, you should uh, melt it down uh, with uh, a little bit of heat. Uh, then uh, we are going to prepare a uh, sodium hydroxide solution containing uh, uh, 40 grams of sodium hydroxide in 100 milliliters of water. Then we're going uh, uh, to mix the olive oil with the coconut oil. And uh, lastly, we're going uh, to add uh, the solution of sodium hydroxide to it. When we do that, the reaction is the following. And in particular, as you can see, our oils are made up of esters that react with sodium hydroxide that is, that is a strong base. In particular, this strong base goes uh, breaking, uh, breaking, breaking uh, um, the carbonyl bonds and after that uh, we have the rearrangement of the bonds and uh, this uh, brings to the formation of the alcohol and uh, to the, our soap. As you can see, the alcohol is generally grease on and uh, that's why uh, that is because uh, the structures of our oils that are used in this reaction. So we stop mixing uh, this uh, uh, solution after everything has become very homogeneous and also it has become a very thick uh, solution. And uh, after that, uh, we uh, can uh, start giving a form to our soap uh, and we put it in some molds uh, as we did uh, in the video. Uh, then uh, you just have to wait uh, for a bit of time. You should wait uh, normally for a night or maybe a little bit longer until the soap is uh, hard enough in order to take it out of the uh, out of the, uh, the forms. Uh, then uh, you can uh, cut uh, the rough edges uh, because the soap is still uh, uh, soft and uh, you should uh, uh, leave it for uh, about uh, six weeks uh, to let all the water evaporate. During this time uh, you should remember uh, to uh, turn the soap uh, some, uh, for some days uh, because in this way uh, all the sides can uh, evaporate in an equal way. So, 
when we uh, mix the two solution, uh, when we uh, reach the so-called trace point, it is important because we have enough enough soap to uh, emulsionate all the oil that is in excess. In particular, we remember what is an emulsion. It is a, a mixture, a stable mixture of two substances that normally cannot mix each other. So guys, the experiment is always is over, and we want you to know that uh, handling the solution of uh, sodium hydroxide can be really dangerous because when it is in a solution, it can be really uh, corrosive, and in particular when you use uh, so concentrated solution. So everyone, if you like this video, please know in the comments uh, if you want to see more amazing videos like this, uh, and uh, also go visit our page and subscribe to it. So for today's all, thanks for watching, guys.